Recently, the National Capital Region Transport Corporation, which is NCRTC, announced that the trial runs for the Rapid Rail Transit System or RRTS, also known as Namo Bharat in Delhi, is slated to begin by November this year. Now, this comes as a welcome news for the National Capital Region and Delhi in particular, which is ranked 44th most congested city globally with an average travel time of over 21 minutes to cover just 10 kilometers in the capital. Now, NCRTC is spearheading this uh, RRTS project with the aim to enhance connectivity and also lessen congestion across NCR. It is a collaborative effort between the government of India and the states of Delhi, Haryana, Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh and of course is designed to make travel faster and smoother. On the Urban Agenda, we bring you the latest developments on the rapid rail transport system and ask how economical, sustainable and integrated is Namo Bharat. Here's a quick look at the progress made so far. The new Ashok Nagar Namo Bharat station in Delhi is nearing completion. It is expected that the trial run for about 12 km section from Sahibabad to new Ashok Nagar will start from November. Once operational, the system will enable seamless travel between Ashok Nagar and Merat South RRTS station in about 35 to 40 minutes. Now, the RRTS stretch from Delhi or in Delhi includes the Sarai Kale Khan, New Ashok Nagar and Anand Vihar RRTS stations. The Delhi section is expected to be operational. So remember, trial runs in November but fully operational by mid-2025. If you recall, Prime Minister Narendra Modi had flagged off the first 17 kilometers of Namo Bharat rapid rail from Saibabad to the high depot in UP in October 2023. Since then, there's been progress. Namo Bharat train services are being operated on nine stations over a 42 kilometer stretch from Sahibabad to Meerut Sub. Now, joining us on the show, Mr. Shalab Goyal, MD of NCRTC, to give us more details. Sir, let me start by asking you so, this is a tentative deadline, operational by mid 2025, the Delhi segment. Um, and are we on track with the original timeline, sir, as well? Yes, ma'am. We are very much uh, in line with the original timelines and by June 25, uh, we are going to commission the complete section right from Sarai Kale Khan to Modipuram, which would include the Delhi portion also, which means uh, Anand Vihar station, uh, New Ashok Nagar station and the Sarai Kale Khan station. So, what has been the ridership on the current operational 42 km stretch of Namo Bharat from Sai Baba to Meerut and return? You know, because there were concerns uh, initially on the fare cost, 110 rupees for standard class and 220 for the premium class one way. The ridership is constantly showing a increase and uh, once we uh, get the complete connection right up to uh, Sarai Kale Kha, then the ridership is definitely going to increase. But in spite of all that, the ridership has been increasing. And uh, uh, right now, like uh, we opened this Modi Nagar to Mirat section quite recently, there was a jump of uh, ridership by about, say, uh, almost uh, to the extent of 40-45%. So, hmm. the ridership is somewhere around 20 to 23,000 right now. And uh, on days, it has gone to even up to 30,000. But it is definitely showing a very steady rise. I can say that. Well, the trains were expected to run daily from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. at a frequency of every 15 minutes. Are you running it... Uh at the frequency planned and what is the actual time taken between these two stations? Are you able to maintain speeds of above 100 kilometers per hour? I know that RRTS can go up to 160 kilometers per hour. Yes, ma'am, definitely. Uh, as planned earlier, we are running services from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. and they are running at a frequency of 15 minutes. And moreover, uh, the, if you see the design speed of this rolling stock, it is 180 kmph and the operating speed is 160 kmph. The average speed comes to somewhere around 90-95 uh, kmph. So, and we are able to, whatever we had conceived, uh, we are going strictly as per that plan. And hmm. uh, uh, like uh, this uh, Sarai Kale Khan to Modipuram is 92 km, 82 km, sorry. So, hmm. we are going to achieve it in uh, one hour or so. So, the first RRTS corridor, uh, Delhi, Ghaziabad, Meerut, was sanctioned way back in March 2019. And that time, the costs were roughly 30,250 to 74 crores. Have there been any cost overruns or budgetary adjustments made during the development of Phase 1? No, ma'am, not yet. Not so far. And more or less, we are in line. 
Mr. Goyal, tell our audience on how rapid rail transport will integrate with the existing metro, e-buses or even regular buses and other public transport network in the NCR region to ensure seamless connectivity. This is a very, very relevant, uh, important uh, question you have asked. And right from day one when this uh, NCRTC was conceived, one important aspect we had kept in mind was the multimodal in in integration. Hmm. And that involved multimodal integration with Indian Railways, with the, with the metro network, with the, with the bus network, and the exact requirement uh, uh, what the, our commuters wanted. So a very, very sort of a seamless kind of a transportation system has been kept at all the interchange stations. For example, at Sarai Kalekha, uh, the Nizamuddin railway station is at a distance of say about 300 meters from, Sarai, uh, from, from our station. Hmm. So we are building a FOB on which we are also providing a travelator. Normally travelators we do not provide in the metro system, but uh, for in this RRT system we are providing travelators, which would mean that uh, this 300 meters journey would be very very convenient and easy for our commuters. So hmm. this kind of uh, effort we are doing, and this kind of uh, effort is not only at Sarai Kalikha. Similarly, at almost all the stations which lie in Delhi area or in UP area, we are doing the same. So add to this, let me just, uh, uh, sure. the ticketing system we are also trying to integrate. For example, we have done an MOU with the IRCTC, which is doing ticketing system for Indian Railways. So hmm. this means that on the IRCTC website, one can book the NCRTC tickets as well, which means that if a passenger is, is coming from uh, Varanasi to Delhi, he hmm. can book his ticket of uh, uh, Indian Railways from Varanasi to to Nizamuddin, for example, and from Nizam from Sarai Kalekha to Modipuran, he can uh, that ticket can be booked uh, of NCRTC as well from IRCT web C website. Another thing is that we have done an MOU with the Delhi Metro DMRC, which hmm. means from their uh, app uh, our tickets NCRTC tickets could be booked. And from NCRTC uh, web app, uh, DMRC tickets could be booked. So this kind of a complete system integration we are trying to do. So we do know that uh, NCRTC is planning to install 900 solar panels in rainwater harvesting systems at the new Ashok Nagar station in Delhi. Can you run us through the sustainability initiatives uh, that have been taken so far on other stations? And uh, I've read on the website that you actually are going to be carbon negative that's the goal so give us a flavor of that ma'am our immediate goal is to set up a, a 11 megawatt uh, solar power system rooftop besides that uh, we are also uh, going uh, ahead with setting up of a, a captive solar power plant hmm. lot of emphasis has been given on water recycling on natural lighting solar tubes for example, our Dubai depot where we maintain our train sets, uh, we are providing solar tubes, which means we are saving on the electricity uh, hmm. and uh, natural lighting system is being given a lot of emphasis. So these are some of the steps uh, uh, we are trying to do. And in our offices, we have provided automatic sensors for the occupancy so that when a person is not there, the lights are switched off. So there's a lot of emphasis on saving of electricity and reducing the uh, carbon footprints. And moreover, mm. the RRTS, by setting up of RRTS about, it was estimated in DPR that about one lakh vehicles would go off the road. So that would be a great saving in terms of carbon dioxide emissions. Mr. Goyal, when this plan was conceived under the NCR planning board, you know, rapid metro was meant to run on the peripheries as a ring around NCR and take traffic away from Delhi. Uh, there are transport experts who say that, you know, in the new avatar or the current format, it will really bring more people to Delhi. Uh, therefore, the traffic on Delhi roads is not likely to come down. What are you expecting as tangible changes in traffic patterns post completion of phase one? Oh, yes, most definitely. You see, uh, once Modipuram gets connected to Delhi, so people, uh, I foresee that people who are right now living in Delhi at very costly property prices, they would be moving towards Bodhipuram because they can come to Delhi in uh, one hour or so. So mm -hmm. why stay in a costly property area where the property price is so high in Delhi? Instead, the person would prefer to stay in Merat or towards Bodhipuram or towards Ghaziabad. 
and the office offices also the the commercial spaces office rent also is very high in delhi as compared to uh, what is there in modipuram or meerut so i expect that the the big corporates also they are going to move away from delhi towards uh, ghaziabad and meerut and modipuram side so congestion definitely is going to be reduced in delhi this is what i foresee and as we had planned earlier Okay, now beyond phase one, what is the long-term vision for Namo Bharat Rapid Rail, sir? Ma'am, uh, if you see uh, the complete planning for the country, the metros are there for with the travel within the city, intra-city travel. The regional uh, rail is normally is it's a spoken hub model, which is going to serve the center, the hub, for around hundred kilometers around the radius of that hub. and beyond 100 kilometers normally uh, it would be indian railways so the country is progressing on those lines only and as i foresee that uh, not only in ncr area but in other parts of the country the regional rails are going to definitely come up and uh, as far as ncr region is concerned two more corridors are under consideration uh, and we are under deliberations with the ministry and this is uh, delhi uh, sarai kale khan daru era and hmm. alwar corridor another is uh, sarai kale khan to panipat corridor then we have done a feasibility study for ghaziabad jewar section and hmm. we are also doing a pre feasibility study for uh, uh, gurugram uh, then this faridabad and uh, connecting noida so several such things are in the offing and definitely i am sure that the commuters and the the citizens of the country are going to benefit with coming of regional rail systems mr goel thank you very much for making time to speak with us thank you so much now staying with clean green transportation the cabinet this week has also approved the pm e drive scheme with an outlay of 10900 crore rupees over next 2 years more on that when we return